Asian rice. Yeah. Eggplant, parmesan, what is left of it? Yeah. Cabbage. And brown stew chicken. Oh. So where are you from? Trinidad and Tobago. How long have you been doing the market here? I've been here, this is my third year. Okay. How have things been? Great, great. Great? Yeah. 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 So these uh, meals or dishes that you cook have been here with you, or you brought them from Trinidad? From Trinidad. You're from Trinidad. And you're saying that the response from the people here in Baltimore has been what? Great, great, great. What do you call great? Excellent! <laughs> <laughs> this is my, like, um, every Wednesday evening, can't miss it so much. I hear they call you Trini. Yeah. Is that what you go by? Yeah, Trini. Trini? What's your real name? Stephen. Stephen what? Francis. Stephen Francis. Yeah. So, do you do parties and things like that? I do catering. Oh, you do I'm catering? I'm a licensed catering. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the name of your catering business? Trini Kim. Trini Kim? Trini Kim Food. Oh, okay. Now, uh, over here you have some drinks. Let me ask you about these. Okay. What do you call this one here? This, okay. This one, I, co I call it cool them down. What? Cool them down. Cool them down. Yes. Yeah. Alright. And um, what is this based on? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. Oh, yeah. I know I That's tasted right. that. Right. I know cucumbers. I tasted that cucumber. And this one, I call it kick up. Kick and punch. These are all natural food juices. Why I named them that? Mm -hmm. It's because when I first came to the park and I named them that, people say you should buy it and take it home and add their own kick to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. So kick them and pull them down. It tastes like really good. Like it, yeah. it has a kick to it. And then um, what I like to do. Just mix the two? Mix. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a mix. Me too. Okay. Yeah, I want to. That one. Give me a cup of water. Your comments. What do you think? Pretty good. Very good. No. That's the uh, that's the pink one you have. You have the red one. That's nice. Yeah, I tasted both. This one is a thumbs up. Which one is a thumbs up? This one is a thumbs up. What you like about it? First of all, I don't know what you make it out of. And second of all, the color is good. The smell is like weird. But I don't judge stuff off the smell. I taste it. It was, it was thumbs up.
berries, cantaloupe. What's your name? Yo, my name is Richard Semper, Jr. I'm, there. I'm part of the Trinidad and Tobago uh, Baltimore Steel Orchestra. Uh, we, uh, we have three members here at the park, but we boast uh, three generations of uh, steel drum players in, from, uh, in Baltimore. We started the band in like 1971. When I say we, we as an organization, my father started it, um, and now we have uh, uh, grandkids and uh, up here some of the original members are uh, playing in the band now, yeah. pr promoting the culture and keeping the culture. How does it feel being here at Druid Hill? Uh, man, this is a beautiful, um, this is one of my fa absolute favorite places to um, perform throughout the summer because you got a oasis in the middle of the city and such the, the fellowship and some of the uh, the, the, the vendors the the, the, the local um, farm you know farmers market the vendors and everything it's just a beautiful place you know kids adults you got the yoga going on I, I love it I what keeps you going with the Trinidad and Tobago uh, style of music from the band the steel band you know what the thing about it what keeps me going is the memories that I create because well I'm a, I'm a part of it because no matter, as far as the steel drum as an instrument, mm -hmm. everyone who comes up to me, they always tell me the first time they heard it. So no one never seems to forget the first time they heard a steel drum. Yeah. And that's what really um, keeps me going, is the reaction that I get from talking to people, to, to talking to people and uh, the, the experiences that, um, uh, how the music gets them to feel. Well, you, you weren't born in Trinidad, were you? No, I wasn't born in Trinidad. <laughs> so was it difficult turning on to the music from your dad? You know what? I, I, I regret to admit it, but as a youngster, I didn't embrace it. I, I didn't embrace it until my teen, I mean, until I was about a teenager, and literally my dad said, well, you can come play with a band or you can get a summer job. And I think I worked two weeks at Burger King, and I said, I'm going to go play music. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How know? has the reception been since from 1971 to now? It's been amazing because... One thing that astonishes me, as much as we've been playing around with Baltimore, we play like maybe four or five times, on average, four or five times a week. Yeah. And so you, you couple that with 47 years, mm. some people still seeing this for the first time. Yeah. But then again, there's some people that said, I saw you back in the Inner Harbor in 1982. You had blue steel drums and you did this, or I seen you on this, this boat, or I seen you here. And literally, I do remember those occasions. I remember the fact that we played. Um, because you got to realize this band has been known uh, is the uh, the official steel drum band of Baltimore yes. by Mayor Schaefer, mm -hmm. the late Mayor Schaefer. We got keys to the city of Annapolis and the keys to the Ocean City. So a lot of accomplishment. And we did a European tour in 1979. So you're talking about four decades of music and, and uh, creating memories, which that's what keeps me, you know, preserved. I feel like I'm a culture king. What about the possibility of getting this in the public schools? They're already there. They're there? Oh. In Columbia alone, there's like six steel drum bands. We started um, the Catonsville Steel Drum Orchestra. Mm -hmm. um, we serve as consultants. My father, he uh, he has like maybe three grassroots programs in, in, in the school systems that kind of uh, rotate. Yeah. His last one he did with the School of the Arts. Yeah. And, and what happens, we serve as consultants first, and then we teach them how to play, we teach them everything, and then uh, they then they take it on their own. Yeah. yeah. Well, I am very much impressed with the way things have come from when I was uh, exposed as a child to exactly. this music. Exactly. So, like I said, I really, I really take, uh, I take a lot of pride in being a keeper of the culture. Right. Uh, because again, you know, people. Uh, no one, it's an experience, you know, and, and people always, like I said, people always remember when they heard a steel drum yeah. or a steel, steel pan. Yeah. yeah. Do you do your own heating of the pan and creating your own sounds? Yes, we do. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we make, yeah, my, my father makes some, we get some imported, mm -hmm. and um, and so, yes, we do, we make some and we we, uh, we import some too, as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. but well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having yeah. me. Mama K. Mama what? K. Mama K. Uh-huh. So I saw you dancing out there, uh -huh. and you said uh, you have been dancing a long time. Yes. Which one? On Drew Hill Avenue. 
So what is this Trinidad and Tobago music For all that music, it's about the rhythm and any market in Druid Hill. We have local wines on display as well. This is uh, we do this a lot, so yeah. uh, we like the people. They turn out. They they anticipate seeing us, and uh, we try to give the best show possible. What's the thinking behind the name of your group, Slags? Slags. Uh, it's, it's several meanings. You have to go to the website slags.net to figure that out. Okay. But uh, it's, it stands for our names: uh, Snooky Lamont, Gerard, and whoever else. But it's also a culture. It says uh, several meanings. Okay. Yes. And um, you've done this before, as you said. What is the future for you? What are the things that you want to do to the people can look forward to seeing? Well, we continue to perform around Baltimore uh, and wherever else. We travel all over the place. All of these people are comprised of other groups. Mm -hmm. They're all world travelers. They believe with uh, national acts. You name it, Justin Timberlake, uh, Michael Jackson, Prince. You name it. Mm -hmm. These one of us or all of us has played for these somebody in some capacity okay. at one time. So. Well, it seems to be a very joyful thing for the people here that they watch their dance, see your music, and everything else. Yes, yes. We, that's what we enjoy. We like that. When they do that, it makes us feel better. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And we got trigger happy, holy sin, and you know penny is spreading. Come on, 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 come on,